I think a lot of people know that I have a bad hip and knee and I've started using a cane or a walking stick and it's, it's been very helpful and what I wanted to say is the, the walking stick I can use like a healing stick and you could do the same thing and I'm going to give you an example of how you would use it to make sure that the dog stays in the woe position. Woe is a standing position. It means stand and don't move. And to help dogs learn how to do the woe position, we use the steps. Now here's me using the stick I, I'm using to help walk with and using it as a healing stick. Remember, you don't hit the dog with a healing stick. You don't, and healing sticks, you just sort of tap off the dog. This is a piece of bamboo. It's very light, and I'm not, don't ever hit the dog with anything. That is not gonna be helpful. It's gonna be non-productive. Don't do that. That's not what it's about. You wanna instruct the dog, and this will help instruct the dog. Watch what I do with the stick. This is Cody, and Cody, we're gonna have to do whoa. And as you see, see, you can just take a stick, if you don't have a healing stick, you could use a broomstick or whatever, and just slide it back um, back by his back legs and make sure that the dog doesn't sit down while doing well. Now we use the steps to help teach the dog whoa, heal, whoa, and we don't need to use the stick with Cody, but we're just doing it for demonstration purposes. It'd be like this, you whoa, and the steps give the dog a visual cue, heal. Whoa. See, so we just put it back there, right? Make sure that he doesn't sit. They will, they'll try and sit on the steps, but that is one advantage to the steps is that it, uh, it makes it harder for the dog to sit. Whoa. Heel. Whoa. No, whoa. Heel. Whoa. You can use it in the front too to stop the dog from walking. Heel. Whoa. No, whoa. It's a good boy, Coats. This is Bowser's, and we'll do the same thing working whoa on the steps with him. And I'll use my cane to indicate stuff. You know, it's the same thing as a healing stick. If you don't have a healing stick, you could use a cardboard tube, you could use Maybe a broomstick. You're not hitting the dog with it, but healing sticks that you buy in the store, they're, they're, they're bendy. They, they bend a lot. Do you understand? So this is different. You're just sort of uh, using this to touch the dog with. Don't ever hit the dog with anything. Heel. Here, heel. Whoa. Right? You just put the stick out in front of him to stop him. Whoa. Heel. Whoa, if he was going to sit, I could take the stick and put it back here like that, make him stand, heel, whoa, good, whoa, heel, whoa, no, whoa, heel, that's a pretty good job, right, it's a good boy, Bowser, sit, Good boy, down. No, down. It's a good dog. Same thing going up the steps, heel, whoa. Put the stick out in front of him. Like I said, you could use a healing stick. Are Somebody come on. Hey Eric, how you doing? Heel. Whoa. No, whoa. What's that? What's that? Whoa. Did you go to the post office like yesterday? Or the day before? Was I? Yeah. No. No? Because I heard the, the clerk call a customer say, Peter Kane, Peter Kane, the package. Really? Yeah. So no. Like, oh, one here, here. Maybe there's another one. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway. I, I, I didn't go look, but you know, I heard the clerk say, Peter Kane, the package is here. Huh. Yeah. That's weird. I never hear my name. Because I would just leave the package. I would not leave your slip. Right, and right, right, right. What? I don't think I, don't think I got it a must package. Be, it must be somebody. Yeah. Else. Okay, I'll see ya. Here. Whoa. No, whoa. Heel. Over here, heel. Come on. Sit. Down. Good.
It took a boy.